But first I'm of all, what did you think of this forum? It seemed like it gave you more of a chance to express yourself with, with limited time limits. Yeah, it's a it's it's a town hall kind of forum, which you know I've done about 300 <laughs> in the last uh, in the last year or so, and uh, you know was doing eight a day. So uh, when I was going through, I would do several here and. In New Hampshire, and it's a it's a forum I'm comfortable with. It's one that I think the uh, the audience yeah. enjoys a lot more because you get to really uh, hear not just the you know yes or no answer uh, and a brief description, but you get you get a real understanding of what the candidate thinks and why they think it. I mean, you get a little insight into what makes this candidate tick, uh, what the depth is, what the understanding of the issues are, and uh, and the ability to. Uh, communicate that in a, in a way that's that's uh, compelling to the American public. A president uh, who's a, who, president of the United States uh, doesn't lead this country in sound with sound bites. Uh, they lead uh, with uh, with the, with a style and, and, a, and a way of leadership uh, that is uh, in in longer pieces than what these debates allow for. And I think this gets a, a better reflection of the quality of leadership and the style of leadership that the president uh, a president would have. Some bumps in the road for some of the candidates just in recent days, from Herman Cain to the debate last night with Rick Perry's oops moment. Does it make you pause and think about where you stand in this when you see some others falter at moments? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting for the opportunity that, uh, that, that you know, the, uh, the media will pay attention to all the things that I say. Uh, I'm, looking for, I'm looking forward to that, and I think that will happen. I'm, I'm convinced that you know, we're, we have the Field of Dreams campaign. Uh, if you build it, they will come and we're out here building it. We're building it in, in Iowa, New Hampshire, and, and South Carolina, and uh, we're feeling very, very good that um, the grassroots work we're doing, the work that I'm doing, talking to and meeting with, uh, with activists and, and folks who, uh, who care deeply about this process, as I know Iowans and New Hampshireans do, uh, that that will pay off in the end, and that we'll have uh, we'll have a lot of uh, a lot of momentum going into the uh, to the caucuses and the primary. Thank you very much, Senator. Quick question for yes, you. Yes, sir. There's granite Rock. That is correct. Thank you very much. Um, speaking of Granite Rock and the blogosphere, there's an awful lot of uh, buzz going around now, where uh, some people have stumbled a little bit, and some people are. Uh, Kind of, again. kind of saying, looking again, and well, we ought to be looking at Rick Santorum. What's your reaction to that? Uh, you know, I, my my feeling is that uh, I was out here putting out, uh, you know, ideas on how to move this country forward economically, as you heard today, morally, culturally, and because, uh, as I said, culture is upstream of politics, and, and these are important issues if we're going to get this country back on the right track on, on a variety of different fronts. And, and I gave a speech today uh, and, uh, in New Boston talking about the, uh, uh, the threats that we have overseas and the work that, that I've done in the past and the ideas on what a Santorum presidency would look like with respect to our national security, so I, I feel like uh, you know we're ready. Uh, we've been ready. We've been we've been giving the, these speeches and and being available to the public for a long time. And uh, our hope is that at the right time, people will will start to, as they start to pay attention to get, getting serious about what candidate they they're they're for. They'll look at someone who has a positive, uplifting. You know, vision for this country, someone who's got a record of being a consistent conservative, someone who's got a record of winning tough elections, and uh, in swing states that are necessary for us to be able to uh, win the presidency. And when they do that, I feel like uh, we'll have we'll have the best chance because I'm the only person that fits that criteria. Thank you very much. Thanks. And speaking of foreign policy, coming this Saturday, of course, CBS News and National Journal are going to yeah. have a great debate there. If you could just speak about what you plan to set forward there in terms of your policies and what you said before. Well, I've, I've given uh, lots of addresses on, on national security. Uh, today, I talked specifically and focused on Iran. I hope that will be a very big and important part of the debate. And um, you know, we'll talk about the need for, uh, for us to make a decision here. This is a decision point. Uh, this president has to make a decision whether he is going to stand by Israel, uh, whether he is going to remove himself one step away from Israel and uh, either uh, nod yes or no about what Israel is going to do, or whether he's going to actively oppose Israel. And, and it's, uh, uh, I think, obligation uh, as a government to protect that, that sovereign nation from a, uh, a nuclear Iran. And uh, a nuclear Iran, is, as the president says, is something that can't happen. Well, that's 
uh, in the president's mind uh, that that may be the case, but he's doing nothing policy-wise to effectuate that policy. I Israel cannot be so cavalier. Israel is, is, is existence is on the line, and if they do not act uh, to uh, to de-arm to disarm uh, Iran from a nu their nuclear capability, uh, I think everyone in the state of Israel knows that uh, the time is that the clock will be ticking for the for the. Uh, um, for the end of that state. So uh, you, will, you will see an action soon, I suspect. And the question is, how will the President act? I've been very, very clear. I will stand shoulder to shoulder with Israel. I will work with Israel to make sure that uh, they, uh, the appropriate military response is made and we'll let that known so, so Iran can either make decisive steps that are clear, verifiable, to, to stop this nuclear program, to disarm and to, um, uh, to stop this program, or there will be consequences. Thank okay, thanks. Crop TV.